Hello everyone, today's question is 1251 average selling price on lead code. Let's begin with the question. So this is our table prices. This has these four columns and these are the data types. Product ID, start date, end date is the primary key. Combination of columns with the unique values for this table. Each row of this table indicates the price of the product ID in the period from start date to end date. For each product ID, there will be no two overlapping periods. That means there will be no two intersecting periods for the same product ID. Units sold. Product ID, purchase date, unit. This is our second table, units sold. This table may contain duplicate rows. Each row of this table indicates the date, units and product ID of each product sold. Write a solution to find the average selling price for each product. Average price should be rounded to two decimal places. So we need to use a formula to round the output. If a product does not have any sold units, its average selling price is assumed to be zero. So the default value will be zero. Return the result table in any order. The result format is in the following example. These are our two tables, prices and units sold. And this will be our output, one, two. And the explanation is over here. Average selling price is equal to total price of product upon number of products sold, which means product ID one. If you see product ID one, it is units sold into price, which means 100 into 5 plus 15 into 20 100 into 5 units into price so so one thing is clear that we need to join these two tables and then we have to multiply these two columns units into price and then sum it so 100 into 5 plus 15 into 20 and we have to join these two tables by product ID plus using the date. We have to make sure that the purchase date is between start date and end date. Each row of this table indicates the price of the product ID in the period from start date to end date. For each product ID, there will be no two overlapping periods. So 2019 0 to 25, it lies between this row like the start date and end date it will join with this row so 5 into 100 that way for this purchase date 2019 -0301, it lies between this start date and end date so 15 into 20 so we need to join these two tables but by two criteria one is of course product id but the second one is we have to make sure that purchase date is between start date and end date if we miss this criteria if you miss this join condition 100 will multiply with 5 100 will multiply with 20 plus 15 into 5 plus 15 into 20 which is wrong we have to add this join condition as well the, we have to use date for the join condition upon upon 115 what is 115 it is sum of units in the units sold table so what we are doing 100 into 5 plus 15 into 20 upon sum of units so 100 plus 15 which is 115 let's see the second example as well 200 into 15 we are joining by product id and we have to make sure that purchase date is between start date and end date so 2 1 and 220 this one is between this date is between these two dates so 200 into 15 so 200 into 15 similarly 30 into 30 30 into 30 divided by 200 plus 30 that is sum of units so that will be in the denominator now let's write the query so we have to join both the tables we will select product id first as in our output the first column is product id comma we have to write a calculation and we have to give an alias to it average price we will write the formula over here but we also need to join these two tables so prices p join 
units sold u and we have to use two join conditions p dot product id is equal to u dot product id and one more join condition p dot purchase date you have to make sure it is between start date and end date and end date we also need to group it by product id but since product id is in both the tables we have to use the correct alias so we will use p, p dot product id and we will group it by p dot product id why are we grouping it by product id because in our output as you can see we have one bracket for each product which means we have to group it by product id so group by product id now let's write the formula over here we need to multiply units into price u dot units into p dot price this is our numerator but we also need to add it we need to use the aggregate function sum by because 100 into 5 that we are doing 15 into 20 we are doing but we need to add that as well so sum of that we are grouping it by product id and then we are summing 100 into 5 and 15 into 20 so 100 into 5 plus 15 into 20 so sum of u dot units into p dot price divided by sum of units just sum of units 100 plus 15 so sum of u dot units so this is our formula but we have to make sure that it is rounded up to two decimal places so we will use the function round so round whatever this fo uh, formula will return we will round it by two so comma two and we have to do one more thing that is we have to uh, if the average selling price is null if it does not have any sold units its average selling price is assumed to be one so we need to add one more formula over here but let's first check if this much this this much query is right or wrong let's see if this is returning the right output oh sorry this has to be u dot purchase uh, u dot purchase date because purchase date column is in units sold table this has been accepted but we need to add one more condition if null if the output for this entire formula if it is null we have to give zero the it has to return zero by default it has been accepted also we have this condition if a product does not have any sold units which means if it does not have any value in the second table it should still return a value because we are using join it will discard those records so we have to use left join so that we have all the product ids from the prices table and even if there are no units uh, uh, units uh, in the unit sold table it should still give an output let's run this let's submit this it has been accepted i hope this video was clear if you found this video helpful please check out our other playlist it would be helpful to you thank you so much for watching